we go. Yo, 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 it's Juicy G Venom here. Welcome back to a Texas Rangers MLB franchise video. This is part two. And we are 0-3 on the year. We should have been 0 and or 1 and 2, but MLB is still bugged out. And we lost our last game. Um, so today we will be playing this series against Kansas City. So we are going to sim up until that day. So we win our first game, but we lose the next three after that. But we win two straight after in Chicago. So we win the series against Chicago. We lose the series against Baltimore. And now we're starting to get into Kansas City. So we're three and six on the year. So I'm trying to think. I think we'll, we're going to go this year or the game between Jacob DeGrom and Nathan Ivaldi today. So we'll send this first game. We lose one to three. Let's go look at our box score. We, uh, Heaney gave up three runs, six strikeouts in 5.2 innings, but it doesn't look like anybody could get a hit. So we're going to go and switch something up here. Um, Bubba Thompson will not be our leadoff. Yeah, OD Tavares will be. And Bubba will probably go down to the last spot. And then we'll probably bring... Corey's not even doing that great this year. I'm thinking we're going to go and trade for a... Let's go. T. We're going to trade for a third baseman. Brad Miller isn't doing super great this year. But I'm going to go look and see if we can bring somebody up from minor. So I will see if we do bring somebody up. Bring up Jax Biggers to the MLB. So we're going to bring him up. I'm going to trade away. Um... Brad Miller here. We're going to go and try to get some bullpen help here. Go get Romano possibly. Out swing. From that Whistler. I think we're going to go and get somebody that is kind of old but doing decent this year. Somebody like Matt Moore. He's not pitched a single inning. Um, him, I think somebody like Colin McHugh will be good, so we're going to try to piece together a trade here, left field, Jackson Frazier, I think, and then a, um, Will Smith will probably get the deal done, no it will not, John Ting, I don't feel like giving up. Um, Black Crim, or Blaine Crim, no, who could we give up here, Tanulu, nope, we're not giving up him, and Angel Aponte, will not get the deal done, Julio Pablo Martinez, will not get the deal done, I feel we could give up Robert Grossman, or we could give up, go give up Danny Duffy, maybe. Yeah, we're going to give up Danny Duffy. So, we just got a player there, some bullpen help, and he will go... That's a setup player. Pitching great this year. Our best pitcher right now is Martin Perez. Oop. So we're going to get into this game. I will see you once we get there. Our lineup today will look like Nathaniel Lowe will be playing the DH. So 
Leody Tavares at the 1, playing center field. Bubba Thompson at the 2, playing left field. Nathaniel Lowe playing the 3 at DH. Corey Seager playing 4, or batting 4, playing shortstop. And then Marcus Simeon uh, batting 5, playing 2nd base. Adolius Garcia batting 6, playing right field. Jax Biggers in his first MLB game, batting 7, playing 1st base. Sam Huff batting 8, playing catcher. And then Josh Young playing third base, batting nine. So Dolius will not be um, coming out of this game. We need him. So I will see you once we get into the game. Here we go. Getting to game 11 on the season. Here is Jacob DeGrom, who has not been great this year. He has a 4.85 ERA. 0-2 and two on the year, 13 innings pitched, gave up uh, 12 hits, walked 3, and struck out 13. We're going to try to do good this game with him. And it will go in and be a ball. That's the first pitch. Here we go. Good circle change. Get some swinging. And we're going to try... To get the second strike, and we do. We run a hundred mile per hour fastball right by him. Here's the one two pitch, and it's a bad pitch down in the dirt. Here's the two two pitch, bad pitch as well. We're gonna try to get him swinging, and we walk him. Mickey Lopez is on base. For the Kansas City Royals. But we're going to. Not get the double play. A bad throw by Josh, jo or Josh Jung. Terrible play. Here's Vinny Pasquantino. Strike up high. And we cannot get him at two. So there's runners at second and third right now. This is zero outs. And Vinny will foul it off. And it's going to be one and two. And that is going to be foul. Could have ruined us there. He almost swung for the strike out there but didn't and it's going to be an out that was very close call on Vinny Pasquantino so we got the first out and here is Salvi I think strike two yep Salvi so there's the slider up high, and four seam fastball is going to go in, and he strikes him out looking. That's strikeout number one for Jacob DeGrom today. Here's, um, I don't know who this is. Who is this? I think, oh. Get Edward Olivera is here. And we try to get him swinging on the 0-2 pitch, but it won't work. 0-3, or 3-0. And now it's 3-1. And we walk him. Bases loaded for Franimal. Franimal Reyes is coming up to bat. There's the 98 mile per hour fastball right down the middle. Or low middle, I guess. That should have been a strike. Questionable call. But we cannot get these pitches located. There's It's a 3-1 count. Bases loaded to walk in the, go, the winning, or the first run of the game. And he does. 
Jacob Grom is not doing super great for us this year, but there's the first pitch for Michael Massey, and it's a strike. And there's an 0-2 count. And he swings on the curveball and fouls it off. And he swings and misses for the 0-2 pitch. And it's now a strikeout. That could have been a lot worse than it was. But I will see you when we're starting to simulate. So we're going to simulate our two innings. We score two. Then Jacob goes three up, three down. And we get he gives up a two run home run. So here's the OD Tavares. On the bottom of the third, we're down three two. And second base tries to make the stop, but it will not happen. I'm going to change this to dynamic because it just randomly sets to beginner for some reason. Here's Bubba Thompson. He's 0 for 1 on the day. He's so out. Yep. Dang it. Gets caught up in a rundown and he gets out. That was a terrible play. Uh, base running mistake by me. And he's going to catch it. So Bubba Thompson gets the second out. Here's Nathaniel Lowe, who's one for one on the day. With a double, I think it said. He's going to rip on it, but it will not be in play. Oh, 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 zero, zero count curveball. And he's going to get a fastball and an inner box, but it will not be anything. So we are going into the top of the fourth, down 3-2. Jacob DeGrom gets three up, three down. And then he gets, well, now it's Jax Bigger, who is zero for zero on his debut. Flies out, line out, and then strike out. Um, now it's our turn to pitch. Thinking I may pull Jacob here. I don't know. But we're going to pitch here. We got a 6, 7, and 8 against us right now. Here's a 1-1 one, one pitch. And it's going to be a strike. Swinging strike. So it's a 1-2 count. Jacob's thinking a good old two-seam fastball. And he fouls it off. Now it's 1-2 again. Jacob has 97 pitches. He will definitely be out after this inning. So let's see if he can have a decent inning here and he strikes him out first start of the inning goes on a strikeout from Framel Reyes his fourth Jacob's fourth strikeout this game thrown that's a fastball for the first strike a slider for the second strike And then a circle change for the third strike. Strikes him out. Strikes out two so far this inning. Here is Michael Garcia. That should have been a strike. That was such a strike. But here we go for the 1-0 oh count. Bob Thompson's going to have to make a good play. And he does. 3-up, three 3-down three for Jacob DeGrom in his last inning of the game. So we got Leody leading off. He singles, but we cannot amount anything. So we're going to bring in Dane Dunning here, who walks 
gives up a single, gives up a pop out, or gives up one run, and we're down four to two. We're gonna put in Will Smith. He's not done super great. I don't know why I put him in, but here we're gonna strike out, fly out, and a single for Leodi. He's four for four on the day. I'm gonna pitch hit. Um, Robert Grossman, he walked, Nathaniel Lowe has a chance to tie up the game here, so we're going to jump in. We're down 5-2 to two with two people on, two outs in the bottom of the eighth. He's going to foul off a sinker down in the dirt, which that was not a good call for me to swing at, but... Here's the 0-1 one, one pitch. I did not know why I swung at that. It could be 2-0, but now it's 0-2. The two outs are tying run up at the plate. And he strikes out. I just can't get hitting down for some reason. I don't know why. We just can't win. And we have to score here. The flyer ground out and we lose five to two. We just can't win with this team. Jacob Graham goes six innings, three hits, five strikeouts, five walks, three earned runs. Those runs came on those walks probably. So we need to get those walks down for Jacob to ground. I, I will see you at the calendar. So, here we are. We're going to play our next game against Kansas City. And it's going to be Ryan Yarbrough versus Nathaniel, or Nathan Evaldi. He's not doing too great this year, but we're going to try to get him started again. So, we're going to play this game. I will see you when we are in the game. And here we are. Trying to get things started back together for the Texas Rangers and see if we can get a win and go to 4 and 8 on the year. So, let's go. Here's Nathan Evaldi on a rainy day. And it's going to be hit. It's going to go right to Adolius Garcia. Bobby Witt flies out. Here is Mickey Lopez. Do that. And it's going to be an up high fastball for strike one. Here is the 0 1 pitch, and it's going to be a ball. That's not sharp, guys. Here's, there was a up high fastball. It's going to be swung and fouled off. So it's one and two on the count. And he's going to turn and foul off the one two pitch. Here it goes. And he strikes him out uh, looking. Up high splitter. Here is Vinny Pacentino. Up high fastball. Try to get him on the O2. Or the 0-1 slider. But it goes down to the dirt. Here's the 1-1 pitch. Down it. Down. Outside of the zone. Here's the 2-1 pitch. And it's fouled. Here's the 2-2 two -two pitch. And it's fouled off. And it's swung on and up high fastball. And Nathan gets out of the inning with 12 pitches, 2 strikeouts. So we are, we are going to...
to go and swim now. We get nothing that inning. We get three runs in the next inning. And then three up, three down for Kansas City. So now we're up the bat. Let's go see if it if it's dynamic. Okay. So here's Josh H. Smith, who's 0 for 1 on the day. That was a good pitch. Just didn't think it was going to happen like that. So far, Ryan's got 32 pitches in three innings. Pretty good. He's gave up three runs. There's an up high cutter, and we swing on it, and it's 0-2. So, if you guys have any, like, comments or concerns about this series, let me know. Um, I think comments are on our videos. I do not know. I will check once the video that's currently uploading uploads. So this will probably go up on Tuesday, June 6th, and then we'll probably have a weekly upload, daily upload this week, and then we won't have the same thing next week. And a good play from the first baseman, but he drops it, and it leads to two people on, so... That does not go down as a hit, but here's Corey Seager. I'm trying to pump out as many videos as I can this week. So, I can make up for next week because I may not have time to upload videos next week. Because I have baseball games. So, here's the 1-0 pitch, and now it's 1-1. We foul it off on the circle change. We were very late on it. So here's the 1-1 one -one pitch. That was a weird pitch, but it made a swing. So it's a 1-2 count. And hopefully we can get a run in here. We turn on it, and it's a foul. So that's okay, I guess. So here's a 1-2 count. And we swing and miss on a sweeping curveball. So here's Marcus Semyon, who is one for one on the day. With a single in the second inning. So let's see if he can become two for two on the day. A sweep, sweeping curveball is very slow. It's very slow. It's weird. So here's... The 1 0 pitch, and that's going to get in a run. We're going to go 2 here, and it's going to bring in another run. So, it's with a bad throw. So, we get 2 runs on that hit. Bad guy trying to position the camera better. And that's going to be it for Ryan Yarbrough. So here's Jonah Heim with a runner on first. Expect a bunt. And he did, and it could have been a double play if their base actually kind of thought. That could have been an easy double play if he could have got there. So I don't know what their base was doing. And that's going to lead to a RBI single by Robbie Grossman. He's doing good this year. Um, so, here's Adolius Garcia. He's stealing. And it's going to be in for a stolen base. Robbie Grossman gets uh, second base. His first stolen base of the season. He has good speed. Like 61 speed stamp. But I just thought with Adolius up the bat, we could try to get him in position, try to get a double or a hit into the outfield and try to get him home. So. And that's going to be a foul ball on the slider. It's 0 2 count. See if we can get this runner in. It is downpouring right now. 
So here's O2 pitch, and it's turned on, and it is stopped by the third baseman. And that's going to be it for this inning. Sorry guys, my throat, my throat's kind of dry, but so here is the we're gonna simulate here. So like so, he gets three up, three down. We get no runs. Give up no runs there. So so we're gonna pitch this inning. Here is his 51st pitch of the day. And it's turned on and it will not be stopped by the second baseman, by Simeon. He was close to getting it though. Here's Bobby Witt. We're going to try to turn the double play here. Swings on the curveball and misses. And fouls off the next pitch, 0-2, with no outs. And he swings and um, singles into the outfield. I do not think we can get a double play here at second or first because of Bobby Wood's speed. But we will try, and we get it. So, two outs, runner on first, or third. Great double play by us there. So now there's two outs with Vinny Pacentino up right now. And it's an 0-2 count for Vinny Pacentino. And we're going to try to get out of this. And he almost swings on the slider. But we're going to try to get him on this pitch. But it will not work. It's up high. And here's the 2-2 pitch away, and he swings and it fouls it off. So here is the 2-2 pitch again, and it's up high, so it's 3-2 now with a runner on third, one out. And there is a 3-2 pitch. He fouls it off along at bat here for Vinny Pasquantino, and he does not get the strikeout. So, it's runners on first and third. Two outs for Salvi, Salvador Perez. And he pops it up to Nathan, or Nathan Evaldi. And it is a amazing six inning for Nathan Evaldi here. So, see if our offense can put up some more on the board. And they cannot. And we're going to go in here and um, hit. Robbie Grossman's up. He's one for three on the day. I think his first hit was when we hit with him. And we miss on the forcing fastball right down the middle. I do not, and we call time for some reason. I do not know how I took that time reference. But it's 6 nothing right now for us. Looking good. We have had a great performance for Nathan Evaldi on the mound today. But here's Robbie Grossman. Trying not to strike out, and he pops out to the third baseman. Does that count? Yep, he is out. That was close. Here's Billy Garcia, who hit a home run in the second inning. And he misses on the curveball. 0-1. Um, we're trying to get in at least the first season by the end of next week. So here's a pitch turned on from Adolis Garcia. It's back. It's back. And it is over the fence for an automatic double. It hits the ground before it goes over the fence. Here's Josh Young. Young, I do not know how to pronounce it, but he falls off the outside forcing fastball. And here's the 0-1 with a runner on second 
one out. And he misses a 14 fastball. Up and away. So here's the 0-2 count. One out. Player on first. He grounds out to the first baseman. A great play by the first baseman to get the out at first to get rid of that runner. So here's Leo D. Tavares, who's one for four today. See if he can knock in this run. And he will not. He will pop out to Bobby Witt Jr. So that's it for um, this inning. But let's see if Mason Baldy can get a complete game shutout. Here's the pitch. It is a strike inside. So Mason Baldy has had a great game today. He's got only 81 pitches in 9 innings. So see if he can get this complete game. And there's a pop out to Corey Seager. Nice little play by Corey. So there's one gone in the ninth. They've only got two more to go. There's a strike down outside. So we're going to get the 0-2 hopefully. And we do. Foul ball. Benny Pasquantino is down to his last strike here. So here is the 0-2 pitch. And he takes the pitch. It's up and uh, up inside kind of. Here's the one two and he takes it, it's down and away. So here's the two two pitch. He's going to make the pitch and it is a ground out to Nathaniel Lowe. So two outs for Salvador Perez. Trying to get them started here. Nathan Rivaldi trying to get a complete game shut out. So, let's see who wins this battle. It's a 0-2 pitch count right now. So, let's see. Kansas City is down to their last strike. And he swings and misses a complete game shut out for Nathan Rivaldi. What a game for Nathan. He strikes out Salvador Perez for the last out. Great game. And we win. We finally win when I'm playing. Nathan Valdez 1-2 and two on the year. Royals win the series, though. Only gave up four hits on the game. Nathan Valdez did really good. So, that's going to be it, guys. See y'all later.